Hello and welcome back to Artful. Today we're having another look at our colouring pencils, working on using perspective in your drawings. Firstly, I'm making a border for my artwork using some washi tape, before sketching in my initial shapes with our ash grey pencil. I'll be drawing my buildings at an angle, so you'll see how I'm converging the top and bottom parallel lines to this mark at the side of my artwork. I use a ruler to work out my perspective lines more precisely. For a more in-depth look at perspective, we already have a video on the Artful YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out. The link is in the description below. I'm using my pencil in an almost sweeping motion to shade the pavements beneath our buildings. Next, I use our turquoise pencil to colour in our sky, before adding some of our emerald pencil on top of this layer to give our sky a nice subtle gradient. I'm going to colour in the initial layer for our buildings with our pumpkin colour, again using that soft sweeping motion to keep that consistency to the colour. To make this colour richer, I'm adding some sunflower on top of the pumpkin layer that I've already drawn. For the detailed architectural flourishes of the buildings, I'm again using my ruler to make sure everything is aligned accurately. I'm sketching out buildings from Corn Street in Bristol. I personally have a lot more fun drawing older buildings. I find they have a lot of extravagance, and therefore lots of fun things to draw, such as these columns and the archway. There's a lot of windows on these buildings in Corn Street, so lots of opportunity to practice using your ruler to make sure everything is lined up properly. I'm shading another layer of pumpkin colour on top of the left side of our buildings as the light is hitting the buildings from the right. To try and make the more graphic lines pop a bit more, I'm tracing over the details of the building with my redwood pencil. It's one of the features of colouring pencils that I like the most. You can create these really dense, rich colours just by continuing to lay the pencils on top of one another. Make sure you keep your pencil sharp. It's not fun trying to draw these smaller details with the flat edge of a blunt pencil. For refined details, you want as sharp a point as possible. I'm adding in the final details of our composition with our emerald pencil, including these old Victorian era lampposts. I really love the colour of the emerald pencil when it's layered on top of our orange and yellow tones. I think it just helps the details in the building stand out better in the composition. I'd love to see how you're getting on with your pencil creations, so please tag me on Instagram at artfulbox. I'm adding some subtle hints of foliage underneath the bottom windows and above the railing. I'm really just trying to better convey that sense of subtle texture and shadow. The emerald pencil on top of the yellow and orange tones creates a far more earthy green. I really encourage you to properly experiment with the different colour combinations that you can create by layering corresponding colours on top of one another. You may be surprised by the outcome. Finally, again, I'm using our redwood pencil to help the shadow side of the buildings appear more dark. I didn't want our nice dark shadow to be lost once we added more detail. Light and shadow helps to give even very stylized drawings like this a better sense of depth, before using our ash grey pencil again for our pavement. Then time to remove my washi tape, being extra careful and slow so not to rip my completed artwork. Thankfully today we're safe, and there's our pencil perspective artwork finished. This took me around 35 minutes. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like it, and visit artful.co.uk. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again soon with a new video.